Hi guys, welcome to another learning session on medical laboratory science with Kum Nanchu. Today we'll be looking at chemical pathology and its basics. In medical laboratory science, there are various fields and chemical pathology is one of the fields. So generally, pathology is the scientific study of diseases and chemical pathology is a branch of pathology that utilizes techniques and principles of biochemistry, biology and basic sciences to enhance the understanding, investigations, treatment and prevention of diseases. So you can simply say chemical pathology is the biochemistry of the human body in a health and a disease state. A scientist that specializes in chemical pathology is called a chemical pathologist and a chemical pathology lab involves the biochemical analysis of our body fluids like blood, urine, cerebrospinal fluid for treatment and diagnosis of diseases. So let's see what's the role of chemical pathology in medical lab science as related to the treatment and diagnosis of diseases. The roles of chemical pathology in medical laboratory science includes the diagnosis of diseases like glucose tests for diabetes and alcohol tests for ulcer. It is also involved in evaluating the effects of treatment of a particular ailment. That's to check whether drugs have negative effect on other body organs or not. Also, it aids in understanding the biochemical changes due to disease progression. For example, the urea and creatinine test for hypertension. Chemical pathology also ensures the monitoring of a disease. For example, glycated hemoglobin test monitors the blood sugar level of a patient. There are various tests carried out in a chemical pathology lab and they include the liver function test, we also have renal function test, lipid profile test, glycated hemoglobin, fasting blood sugar, oral glucose tolerance test, lactase dehydrogenase, we also have blood urea electrolytes and creatinine, blood urea nitrogen and um, the 2R postprandial. These are just a few of the tests carried out in a chempart lab because they are so numerous but we'll just discuss a few of these tests. Let's see the liver function test, LFTs for short. LFTs are a group of blood tests that provide information on the general state of our liver. It comprises of tests like ALT, that's the alanine aminotransferase, AST, that's the aspartate aminotransferase, ALP, alkaline phosphatase, and we also have um, the total bilirubin. Bilirubin is a waste product from the breakdown of red blood cells. So an elevated level of bilirubin indicates the liver dysfunction. Also, we have the direct bilirubin and we also have albumin. Albumin is a protein produced by the liver and a low level of albumin suggests the liver dysfunction. Also, under the liver function test, we have total protein. This test measures the amount of blood protein. And another fun liver function test is the protombin time, that's the PT. It's a type of test that checks the blood's ability to clot. You know the liver produces clotting factors, so an abnormal result may indicate a liver dysfunction. The renal function test is another type of test carried out in a chemical pathology lab. This one assesses the health of the kidneys and it comprises of different tests also. In the renal function test, we have the creatinine test. It's a test that measures the waste products produced by muscle metabolism. We also have blood urea nitrogen test. This one measures the amount of waste resulting from the breakdown of our body protein. We also have glomerular filtration rate, GFR for short. And it's a test that estimates how well the kidneys are filtering our body waste. And 
other tests under the renal function test is urinalysis, we have phosphorus and calcium, we also have uric acid test and electrolytes. This test collectively gives an overall report on how the kidneys are functioning. So another test carried out in chemical pathology lab is the lipid profile test. The lipid profile test tells the state of our cardiovascular health. In this test, we check for total cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, high-density lipoprotein, and triglycerides. So the lip lipid profile tests are often recommended for routine health checkups. And these are just some of the tests carried out in a chemical pathology lab. And all of this analysis can be carried out in three ways. We have qualitative analysis, quantitative analysis, and semi-quantitative analysis. The qualitative analysis focuses on identifying the presence or absence of specific chemical substances in samples provided. So the result is either positive or negative like the pregnancy test and occult blood test. Then the quantitative analysis focuses on knowing the exact amount or concentration of substances in the sample provided. And the commonly used quantitative analysis in chemical pathology include immunoassays and spectrophotometry. So we have the semi-quantitative analysis which falls in between qualitative and quantitative analysis. Semi-quantitative analysis is used when a general idea of the substance is needed. In semi-quantitative analysis, the presence of substances are expressed in comparisons like low, high or moderate and color indicators and bands on a, um, a test strip serves as visual indicators when estimating concentration levels of substances in semi-quantitative analysis. So shout out to every chemical pathologist out there or every student of chemical pathology. This is a very crucial and interesting aspect of medical laboratory science. If you haven't liked this video, you should like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below. If you also have a question, do well to leave it in the comment section. Stay tuned and till I come your way next time. And until then, stay curious and keep learning.